Welcome to the next interesting episode of our series. Hello! Today, we have another batch of secrets for you that you may not have known. As always, we thank you in advance for all your support and for viewing our content. And now, without further ado, let's get to work. We start from a place that in some way continues the concept of the famous suicide photographer in GTA San Andreas. This time, it will be a bridge on which evidently some kind of suicide can occur. It is worth emphasizing that we as players have to initiate it first. To witness this quite unusual phenomenon, we have to throw the pedestrian out of his car. If we come across a brave one, then nothing interesting will happen. However, if we find a pedestrian that will try to escape, we will quickly notice that he will start running straight towards the gaps in the bridge railings. Given that the bridge is situated quite high, as you might expect, there is hardly any option here for the pedestrian to come out alive after such a fall. At least you got jacked by a pro! The situation has changed slightly in the definitive version of the game. All the holes except the main one were patched. Therefore, the likelihood of a pedestrian committing suicide is lower, but still not out of the question. There is still a high chance they will fall into this trap. As for the story related to this bridge, we can approach it in two ways to explain the breaks in the railings. Either explaining these breaks from the point of view of the game itself, or from the point of view of game development. From the point of view of the game, we can guess that breaks in the barriers may be the result of either road accidents, incompetence of the workers building the bridge, or maybe an act of vandalism. However, from a game development standpoint, perhaps Rockstar left these gaps on purpose. Let us know what you think about it. Now we come back to the dark GTA 3, where we can experience a rather unusual thing. It turns out that in this game, it is possible to magically revive a pedestrian and, what's more, without the need to use the medical service. <laughs> now we will explain how to do it. At first, we have to choose our victim surely. By the way, we will also add that the type of weapon with which we kill the pedestrian is optional. Moving on, when we kill the pedestrian, the only thing left to do is press the button that is responsible for activating the replay. When the replay is over, or when it is cancelled, the pedestrian will be standing in front of us completely frozen. We could say colloquially that we see the pedestrian's ghost. It is a pity, however, that we cannot experience something like this in the defective edition, because the replays have been eliminated. Moving on to the next curiosity, we will stay in Liberty City, but we will change the game to GTA 4. As you probably know, in GTA San Andreas, after a long time without eating, CJ starts losing his HP. It's a pretty cool thing, especially in terms of realism. As it turns out, quite a similar feature was added to GTA 4. As we know, Nico Bellic can swim quite well, although he is not as professional in this profession as CJ. Why? Well, because we noticed that Nico starts to lose health after some time. We made a few attempts on the Xbox version, and in our case, we managed to achieve this effect after four and a half minutes. Let us know what it looks like when you tried to achieve this, and whether your Nico was able to stay in the water a little longer. GTA Vice City Stories, a game that can surprise us positively many times. By the way, we encourage you to take a look at our material on this greatly underrated part of Grand Theft Auto. But going back to the main point, can any of you recall the almost indestructible bike from GTA San Andreas? The creators decided to pay tribute to the bike by transferring it to Vice City Stories, but they probably did not think it through carefully when it came to the coding. We are talking about a rather awkward situation. If we start shooting at the bike, it will be in exactly the same condition. And, in all seriousness, yes, it will not even explode. But interestingly, after some shooting, we will not be able to ride it anymore. 
Another curiosity that we hope will appeal to GTA fans from the 2D universe is the church located in Washington Beach in Vice City. We can find it quite easily, for example by the characteristic fountain that is located in front of the building. Why is this church so special? Well, it turns out that if we decide to visit the church from 11 to 12 o'clock, we will hear the church organs playing. And here, most importantly and interestingly, the melody that we hear is not accidental at all. Because, as you will find out in a moment, we can also come across it while playing GTA 2, exactly hanging around the church, which is a place where we can save the game. The GTA series is undoubtedly one of the icons of the gaming market when it comes to brutality in open-world games. But sometimes, we can see that creators have their limits as well, and they know when they start to exaggerate things. Well, maybe not always. Either way, one such example is the protagonist's attitude towards a woman while throwing her out of the car. While in the case of men, the protagonist has no boundaries. In the case of women, he becomes more delicate. At the end, we have left one more GTA San Andreas curiosity for you. It is not only closely related to Rockstar's erotic humor, but also to aliens. You probably all know the famous bar Lil Probe Inn, which is located in Bone County near Area 69. As it turns out, the developers decided to give the players a colloquial wink, because when we count the number of photos inside the bar, it turns out that there are 69 in total. Not only that, if you like to use modifications, such as Noclip, you can find a few more photos hidden above the interior. Probably the creators planned more photos, but then they came up with the idea to match the number of photos with Area 69. We will tell you right away that, in the future, we plan to tell a little more about the aliens. Damn, where is this fool? Whoa, shit! Hey, man, look out! Oh. Oh. Uh. The new age begins here! We recommend you to check out the previous episode of this mini-series, which is currently displayed on the screen. Meanwhile, thanks for staying with us, and of course, we'll see you soon. Take care!